This is the story of Greg the Egg and how we used science to help solve the problem of getting Greg back into his home. So we'll do the demonstration first, tell you the story, and then at the end of this, we'll, I'll show you and reveal to you some of the secrets and tricks on doing these experiments, how to get an egg in a bottle. But first, let's talk about Greg the Egg. The problem was this. Greg had way too much lunch. Smells like pizza. I think he had way too much pizza today. And the problem was Greg, because he ate so much pizza, he couldn't fit inside his home. Now, Greg the Egg, don't know if you know this, but Greg the Egg is married to um, Peg the Egg. And they have a daughter, her, her name is Meg. And let's see, they've got a, a son named Egbert. And they've got a dog, you know what the dog's name is? Beg. And then they have a cat, you know what the cat's name is? Max. Anyway, Greg the egg wants to get inside of his home, but the problem is he's too big. So let's be scientists. Let's use science to help get Greg back inside his home. So I want you to make a prediction. What can I do to get Greg inside of his home? Let me hear your, you want me to smash him? Oh. Greg, would you like me to smash you? No, no, please don't smash me. Okay, let's see what else. Uh, go on a diet. Yeah, okay, I heard that one, go on a diet. Well, there's something that's keeping Greg from going inside his home. What is it? It's air. See, air is all around us, and air has pressure to it. Now, there's air inside Greg's home here, milk bottle, but you don't see it, but it's there. And there's air on the outside. But if I can get rid of the air on the inside of Greg's home, then there'd only be air on the outside, and that air, because it has pressure, will push Greg inside. So, what do you say we take Greg's shell off and see if that will first make a difference, okay? So we're going to take off his shell here. I'm going to... Uh, and there he is. Oh, I took off his shell. Ah, so I just got Greg here now. Does he fit inside his home now? Nope. Still too big. Too much pizza. Well, now there's a few ways to get rid of air. So what are you some... How, how do you think I can get rid of the air? Oh, suck... Oh, I could do that. That didn't work. Well, I'm going to use a little bit of fire. Now, don't try this experiment at home, but what I want to do is fire needs three things to survive. For fire to exist, it needs paper or fuel. So I'm going to use paper in this case, any kind of fuel. Uh, so fire, you know, would be wood, like in a, like in a fireplace <clears throat> or a campfire. But in this case, just a little bit of paper is, is probably going to be enough. Fire also needs heat, something to start it. If it's hot enough, it'll catch fire. I'm going to use uh, a little lighter here. So that's my, but fire needs one other thing in order to be fire. And it's the same thing you and I need to breathe. Everybody take a deep breath in. Ah, oh, breathe out. Okay, so you breathed in oxygen. That's what fire needs to survive too, just like you. Now, all right, so I've got my fuel. I've got my uh, heat. I've got the oxygen. I'll hopefully, I'll use up all the air from the inside so that pushed inside. What's that? You think you might get sucked inside? Well, the truth about science is science never sucks. It only pushes. All right. So yes, a vacuum is created, but in science, when air is uh, is being used, it's going to push because we remove the air on the inside, only air on the outside, it pushes. All right. So the only other thing I need to do is find a safe place to put Greg so that he doesn't get burned. Where should I do him? Oh, what put him from my mouth? No. Blah, 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 blah. I don't know. What? His face in there, of his foot, and the face. Now, let's watch it. Foot and the pepper, pepper and the bubble, and then in the boop and five. I bet, 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 Everybody say, go, Greg. And there he goes. What's that? You got in okay? Oh. You want, he wants to get back out. Why didn't you think of that before, Greg? All right, Greg. All right, let's come back out. 
Uh-oh. We got them in, but now we got to get them out. What are we going to do to get Greg out? Using science, how can we get Greg back out? Oh, maybe. Yeah, we could try that. All right, you still mean to break his bottle, don't you? You want me to smash his home. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to think backwards. Yeah, let's be scientists. What did we do to get Greg inside the home? We removed the air. All right, so to get Greg out, let's put the air back in. All right, so I'm going to create more air pressure on the inside now, and hopefully it'll push Greg out. Yeah, I'm going to blow. I'm going to blow inside there and hopefully get him mouth to egg resuscitation. All right, all right, so here we go. One, two, three. Oh, and there he goes. Out you go. All right. Give Greg a round of applause. Yay. Oh, looks like he's got a splitting headache. All right. All right, stick around for just a minute. I'll show you the tricks and how to try that yourself. All right, so here's the breakdown of how to do uh, Greg the egg or how to get the egg in a bottle as a presentation. Maybe as a storytelling, kind of fun entertainment, stuff you can do uh, to press your friends. Um, now you are doing with fires, so children, this is not a try at your home. Uh, but if you are safe and have adult supervision, maybe they can do this for you. Uh, but let me show adults and um, those how, how I use how I do this experiment. First of all, what you're going to need obviously is eggs. Now I have chosen um, medium or large eggs that are small enough to fit inside a milk bottle. So yeah, you can still find glass milk bottles. Uh, here's the thing to remember, the larger the milk bottle, uh, is, you know, bigger sizes, the longer it'll take for the experiment to work. I like uh, using smaller milk bottles because it happens very quickly, the, room, the air gets removed fast. Uh, so the old mouth of the, that milk bottle is about the right size for a medium size egg. <clears throat> when you hard boil your eggs, um, everybody likes to hard boil their eggs a little bit different, but I make sure mine, uh, my eggs go into boiling water for 10 minutes and then you cool them down as quick as possible. Uh, that way they're the easiest to peel. So, um, usually when I do a presentation, I make sure that I have two eggs, one that's, um, you know, hard boiled and, and gray, uh, draw a face on it if you like. And then one I pre peel. So just so that it goes quickly. And, um, so when you peel it, the trick is you want to make sure that there's no nicks or breaks in the egg. And so the trick is to try to, when you're peeling it, get to the paper, the thin membrane underneath the shell, but on the outside of the egg, get, once you get to that, it peels a lot easier. So get us, get that. And it's almost kind of peels right off and it even comes off in big chunks. Try not to break or crack or, uh, any marks there in the egg. So, all right, so there's, there is the peeled one. Now, when you're doing the, the experiment itself, of course you need paper, that's a fuel. Some people can use just a match, that's fine. I like a little bit longer piece of paper that I can burn that, uh, and then still have enough room to just drop it in. So thin enough to go in the bottle quickly and um, that uses up there. Now, another trick that I do is just to go smooth, is just put a little bit of um, uh, Vaseline or some kind of um, lubricant right there on the outside so it goes in simple. Uh, a little bit slippy. Sometimes if it's uh, a dirty, <laughs> clean your bottle real good, but a uh, little bit. I don't have any inside right now, so it should work with. But the other trick is, uh, the reason why I put Greg in my mouth is just to get him a little bit wet so he slips a little bit better and he goes in and out. So when you're doing it, um, I won't put him in my mouth now, but you're just going to um, get the uh, fire just a little bit of fire, get it going, let it go deep, set and seal the egg right off the bottle and it goes in just like that. Now, uh, that's kind of been the easy one. People have been doing that for years. It's been a fun trick, science trick, but getting the egg out has been another matter. But it is, it's a simple, simple thing of just air pressure. So I remove the air to get them in, so to get them out, get them back out. And the trick here is to make sure you get the paper out of the way and hopefully he stayed whole. Sometimes he splits open and he breaks and it's a little bit harder, but if he's still whole, he, um, when you turn the bottle upside down, he seals it. And so you're gonna be blowing in the inverted position like that, 
blow the air pressure as much as you can and then move out the way and hopefully it'll come out. So just blowing them ready. And there he goes, comes right on out. Now, special caution for those of you with, um, with the older teenagers, the way that the, you, you talk about it and you describe it, there's gonna be a lot of laughter because they think it's silly and inappropriate. But uh, anyway, it's a lot of fun. Um, so let me know what you think. Let me know some versions, uh, uh, variations that you've done of this experiment. Love to hear how you do it, if you do it, if you're a presenter or a performer or a teacher. Um, and if you like it, give me a thumbs up, uh, share it if you'd like, and uh, subscribe to my page. You'll get some more suggestions and ideas for teaching science at home, at homeschooling, or um, uh, just getting kids excited about science. All right, hope you enjoy.